All right. Fairy tales used to be actually a kind of a good thing for kids when it would actually teach some sort of lesson. But then they got disnified in time. And instead of showing some of the gruesome and grim elements of life and people and situations, they decided let's create this artificially happy reality. Where nothing truly bad really happens to anyone. And I actually think it's been kind of damaging to kids. I think it hurts kids. And it's somewhat what has me so disgruntled with things like the Minions. There are some cartoons that I highly recommend that people watch to show what cartoons have been in the past and how different they can be. Um, one of them is a feature called A Mouse and His Child, which uh, has some very dark overtones. It's not gory. It's not filled with blood or anything like that. It's not filled with constant battles. But it is dark. And that's something we just don't see. Another one that's kind of dark, but yet it's a musical and has some happy things to it. It's a really strange mix. And some people may think, oh, I've seen that. That's terrible. Well, oh, that would give me nightmares. I'm like, really? <sighs> Raggedy Ann and Andy, a musical adventure. It's a very twisted, twisted movie. It doesn't necessarily have that many lessons, but it it's not this constant happy imagery all the time. I think this overload of, of, of this happy imagery is like... If any of you have seen the movie the road to Wellville and seeing a particular scene I'm about to mention you might you might understand a little bit there's a scene where they they have these kind of stuffy people getting together they play just some sort of generic thing on the piano doom dit dit doom dit dit doom dit dit doom dit dit and everyone says now everybody ah it's it's really rather absurd but it just kind of illustrates a point of what we sometimes kind of do to each other do to ourselves, I should say, with some of this stuff, this entertainment. When we teach kids to that, you know, entertainment is, uh, is what equals happiness, you know, the, the pre-packaged entertainment uh, uh, stuff that's 
I don't know, pre-packaged, pre-ingested, whatever you want to call it, you know, that equals happiness. And whenever something seems messed up me in life, to just go to that instead of trying to find other ways of getting your happiness. It's like, what's the right word? Um, what is that right word? It's, it's where you, 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 you look to all these fantasies to get happiness instead of trying to find your own happiness. Um, escapism. You know, these, these things teach escapism. To me, if we go beyond the age of maybe three, maybe four, of doing that whole baby talk thing, instead of being something positive, it ends up being something negative. Because then it's expected all the time and then when it's not, well, things are so awful. It also doesn't... It doesn't allow people to... When something shitty happens in real life, it makes people a little bit less able to deal with it. You know, we, we teach people that this is the ideal thing. This is the ideal life. This is the... This is the utopia. Another movie I'd recommend is The Last Unicorn. Great... Great works. Um... Let's see. The Black Cauldron was kind of dark at times. Um, for being an older one, uh, Sleeping Beauty had quite a bit of darkness to it. And uh, this camera is going to overheat at any time, so if it cuts off, then that's the case. Um, oh, there's so many more that I wanted to mention. Um, well, at least those, you know, I've mentioned. I... So when it comes to something like the Minions, it's just completely the opposite of what we used to do. You know, we used to push forth dark things. And fairy tales used to be considered dark, because they were. I mean, even Snow White was a dark story. The Little Mermaid was a dark story. The Little Mermaid didn't end nicely, normally. But Disney changed that. And now we have this expectation if, if something is written for, done for kids, it's happy, happy. Let's go back to that piano playing. Do dit dit do dit dit ah ha 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 ha. You know. And I think it's a shame. I think we're hurting ourselves with this. Um, and it's getting more extreme. And the more. The more we do this to our kids, the more we're going to see the negative effects of it later on. You know, people seem to have this shit backwards. They're, they're, we're, it's this thing of trying to protect our kids from reality. We're trying to protect our kids from anything dark. And... I think we're doing ourselves a disservice. You know, in 15 or so years, we're going to see how well the people who are very, very, very young right now uh, cope with life.